Hello viewers, welcome back to Edwes and another session about Abacus. Today we are going to learn about tense complements. As discussed in the previous episode, we have learnt about direct additions as well as sums involving five complements. Today we will go a little ahead and discuss tense complements. For example, as already discussed, if the uh, if the sum would be 2 plus 2 plus 1. So, the answer would be 2 plus 2 and 1. 1 is plus 5 minus 4. So, in this way we have learned additions and subtractions involving both direct method as well as involving five complements. Today we will go ahead with the next concept that is tense complements. So, now, let us take an example of the same previous sum, 2 plus 2 plus 1. So, the answer would be 5. Now, suppose, for example, if I was given a sum of 5 plus 4 plus 1, okay. So, 5 is already there on a backus. So, now, plus 4. So, plus 4 would be turning 4 beats upward. 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is already discussed, yes. Now, Suppose, for example, I was asked to add, this is 9, you got the answer. But now, you have to add plus 1. So, how do we add plus 1? Directly, is it possible? No. So, because we cannot add 1 bead upward. Now, let us go with 5's complement. So, plus 1 is equal to plus 5 minus 4. So, can we do that? No. Now, how to go ahead with this? So, now... The sums involving numbers more than 9, that is, for example, 5 plus 4 is 9. There are no other beats to move here. So, we will go ahead and discuss tense complements in this case. So, now, what are tense complements? As discussed, for 5's complements, 1 and 4 are the complements and 3 and 2 are complements. Like 1 for 4 and 4 for 1. 3 for 2 and 2 for 1 that is the addition should be equal to 5 so in the same way tens complements so let us see what numbers equal to 10 for example 1 2 3 4 so for 1 if we add 9 that will be equal to 10 1 is a complement of 9 and 9 is a complement of 1. So, in the same way, 2. What if, what if, what to add for the 2 to become 10? So, it would be obviously 8. So, 2 and 8 are complements. That is, 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 and 8 plus 2 is also 10. In the similar way, 3 and 7. Now, 4 and 6. For 6, it is 4. For 7, it is 3. 3, it is 7. And there is also another complement, 5. So, 5 and 5. So, now let us use this tense complement to go ahead. So, the previous sum was to add 9 plus 1. So, now, plus 1, we couldn't do it with 5 complements. So, now... Here, plus 1 would be minus 9 plus 10. So, now, what is 1's complement 9? So, we are less, like we are minusing, like minus 9 plus 10. So, now, it would be plus 1 is equal to minus 9 plus 10. For plus 2, it would be, what is 2's complements as discussed? 8. So, for 2, it would be minus 8. That is, we are subtracting the complement and adding 10. In the similar way, This would be the formula. My plus 3 equal to minus 7 plus 10. Plus 4 equal to minus 6. That is less the complement. 
and add 10 same way with 5 in the similar way plus 6 would be equal to what is 6 complement 6 complement is 4 so less the complement and add 10 for 7 it would be minus 3 plus 10 so plus 8 equal to minus 2 plus 10 plus 9 is equal to minus 1 plus 10 so now I will give you an example to show this for example 12 plus 8 so now how would you represent 12 so now 2 in the 1's place and 1 rod in the 10's place so this is equal to 10 now we should add 8 are there 7 bits available no because this is 5 6 and 7 but we are asked to ask add 8 so now it would be what is 8's complement 8's complement is 2 so less the complement and add 20 so the answer would be equal to 20 for example 3 plus 3 plus 3 for example I am adding 3 that is 3 beats up ok now 3 so what what the com what this is a complement you are using first check whether 5 is available or not yes it is available so now adding 3 if first we will see whether the direct method is available or not then if direct is not available we would try with 5s if 5s are not available then we would go with 10s so for example in this case first 3 it is directly available yes directly available plus 3 available no because only one bead is available here so now plus 3 would be equal to plus 5 minus 2 available yes plus 5 and minus 2 now they are asking us to add plus 3 so now plus 3 is directly available now if I am supposed to add again plus 3 for this how would I do with this is, is it directly available no so we will check with 5 complement what is plus 3 plus 5 minus 2 but where is plus 5 not available so next we would go ahead with plus 3 equal to minus 7 plus 10 so here it would be 3's complement is 7 less this less the complement add it so answer would be 12 For example, now I will add 5 plus 5 plus 5 3 times. 5 plus 5 plus 5 is available only one bit, not available. So, what is 5's complement? 5's complement is 5. So, we are subtracting the complement minus 5 plus 10 again plus 5. So, now if I am asked to add 4. I will directly add now if I am supposed to add minus plus 7 so 7 would be 7's complement would be minus 3 plus 10 because 7's complement is 3 so now less the complement and add 10 so the answer would be 26 For example, we will go ahead with another sum. 8 plus 8 plus 3. So, for example, 8, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now, 8. Where is 8 here? 8 is not available directly. So, where is 8 available? 8 complement is 2. So, minus 2 plus 10. So, plus 3. The answer would be? 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19. So, we will go ahead with few of the examples. For example, 2 plus 2 and 6. So, now 6 complement is 4. So, minus 4 plus 10. So, the answer would be 10. Now, 8 plus 9. So, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
now 9 now 9 is anyway not available so what is 9's complement 9's complement is 1 and so less the complement and add 10 so now the answer would be 10 15 16 17 now in a similar way 2 plus 3 so now plus 3 we have both complements for 5 we have this as well as this here so which one to use so now first as i said we will check with if five complement is available or not so plus 3 equal to plus 5 minus 2 so 5 is available yes so add 5 and less the complement okay now 5 so 5 we have only one option that is 10's complement so 5's complement is itself so less the complement that is minus 5 plus 10 now plus 8 so plus 8 is available directly yes 5 6 7 8 now for example to add 9 to this number again so 9 is it available no so 9's complement would be 1 so minus 1 plus 10 so less the complement and add 10 so the answer would be 10 20 25 26 27 so here the answer is 27 now again the same thing 1 plus 9 plus 3 1 plus 9 9 is available no because only 5 6 7 8 bits are available but we are asked to add 9 so 9 9's complement would be 1 so less the complement and add 10 so now it would be 10 and add 3 directly so 13 would be the answer so 3 plus 5 plus 4 so 4's complement is 6 so 4 4's complement is 6 so minus 6 that is we are subtracting the complement and adding 10 to it so the answer would be 12 now 9 plus 4 plus 1 9 5 6 7 8 and 9 now adding 4 to the this thing so 4 so now we have to two formulas that is 4 equal to 5 minus 1 and 4 equal to minus 6 plus 10 so can we do plus 5 minus 1 not available so now for this 4 we have to subtract minus 6 thus that is its complement and add 10 so the answer would be 13 and again 1 so 1 is directly available yes so now the answer would be 14 for example let us add 5 now and let us add 1 to this plus plus 1 plus 5 and plus 1 so now how to go about it so is there one bead no so what is plus 1 as per the formula plus 5 minus 4 but is there plus 5 available no so we have to go with one's complement as 9 so it would be minus 9 plus 10 so the answer would be 20 let's go ahead with this example 2 plus 6 6 is there yes 5 6 now 3 3 bits are there no so again 3's formula is 5 minus 2 so but 5 is available no when 5 is not available go with the 10 so 3's complement is 7 minus 7 plus 10 so the answer would be 11 let's go with this example so plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 so 2 is available to add no so what next we'll go with 5 5 so plus 5 minus 3 but 5 is available no so now where to go we have to go here 2's complement is 8 so less the complement and add 10 so the answer would be 10 so this is how we do additions 
with the help of tense complements thank you